Welcome back. This isn't a museum video, but I thought that the setting would be appropriate for the theme. It's the holidays, so I figured why don't we take a look at what the holidays are like in the Star Citizen universe. So join me as we look at the holidays of Luminalia and Traveler's Day. Welcome to Galactic Historian. This is a series where I break down the lore of sci-fi universes. If you enjoy this, please like the video and be sure to leave any questions you have in the comments below. Let's start our discussion with Luminalia. This is actually a Banu celebration, which has migrated into human culture. It was an irregularly practiced holiday by the Banu called Tiskiki Efanga. Your Banu is terrible. It's also known as the Glow Festival, where the Banu would light a ceremonial lamp that only had enough oil to last 34,000 beats, or the equivalent of two Earth days. While these lamps were lit, all Banu, no matter where they are, are considered one Suli. The Suli is the standard Banu organizational unit. It's part guild and part family. So this festival is like saying that all of the species is one family. If you'd like to learn more about the Suli or the Xi'an or any of the other factions, I actually did a video covering those, which is linked in the top right. They celebrate this time by inviting friends, business associates, and even strangers into their Sulis, and give them gifts so they will always have something to sell. All those in attendance are expected to bring food, drinks, or favors in return for these gifts. The first humans to celebrate the holiday were on Cestulus in the Davian system in 2438 shortly after the two species signed their first treaty. A ship repair Suli lit their lamps and invited passing humans to come and celebrate the holiday with them. From there, it spread from word of mouth from system to system, mostly by plucky human entrepreneurs looking to boost their sales. The events grew in popularity among the populations, so much so that it was even recognized as an official UEE holiday under Ivor Messer, renamed Luminalia. The official celebration was December 22nd, every year, and as is very common with the Banu, they just started using that date as well, in a symbol of solidarity with their human neighbors. Also to sell more stuff. These are still the Banu we're talking about. As the celebrations grew, some stores began modifying the gift-giving traditions by hiding empty wrapped boxes, which could be returned to the store in exchange for money or a small toy. This spurred more foot traffic into the stores, and by proxy, more sales, thus making gift hunts as much part of the celebration as the oil lamps. Today, the celebration of the Glow Festival and Luminalia continue with old and new traditions every year. However, the spirit of the holiday remains, no matter who you are, between December 22nd and 24th, everyone is part of one Suli. Let's talk about the other end of the year holiday in the Star Citizen universe, Traveler's Day. Created by the Church of the Journey, Traveler's Day is a rather new celebration, not even 50 years old. It was created by the journeyman from the Church of the Journey in the Croshaw system on New Year's Day, 2905. To understand this holiday, we have to understand the Church of the Journey itself. It was founded in the 29th century by Vita Perry as a form of meditation but eventually evolved into a secular philosophy. The church encourages those of all faiths to join them and even keep their old religions. The church does not see themselves as a spiritual faith. Their main belief is that life is about the journey, not the destination. That the most pure way to live is to search and expand your experiences and knowledge of the universe. The main leadership of the church are called journeymen, or sometimes sojourners. While every follower is expected to go on sabbatical at least twice a year, and write travel logs to be left at local churches for others to read, these leaders are held to higher standards. The core tenets of the journeymen are simple. They cannot own permanent residence and must never take what isn't offered. They're expected to be nomads, wandering the galaxy constantly and only accept the offerings of others, usually strangers, thus forcing these most ardent of believers to travel and engage with others expanding their experiences and knowledge. Traveler's Day is a celebration of these tenets. Believers will gather in their local church at sundown on the first day of a new orbit, or New Year's Day on Earth. But due to a variety of orbital periods, it changes from planet to planet. 
they will then travel all night until they reach a new destination. It is seen as the ceremonial first journey of the year, a pilgrimage to start the year off right. This is a little different of an ending than we usually do, but since this is the last Galactic Historian video of 2020, I wanted to give you guys a little personal message. It's been a heck of a year. I've seen this channel grow over 4,000 people in the last year alone. I've also noticed that these videos generally are not as well received as my ship videos, so if you're watching this, you're probably one of the most faithful viewers of Galactic Historian. So to reward you, I'm giving away a Consolidated Outland Nomad LTI game package, courtesy of Cloud Imperium Games. Thank you, CIG. All you have to do to enter is comment on the video and make sure you use the word Nomad in the comment to be entered to win. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. And as the Banu say, our Suli is your Suli. So as your SO Suli, thank you for coming along on this pilgrimage as we move on into new frontiers next year. Have a safe holidays. And remember, ex Astoria at Astra.